Okay, well, you stick with Dick. <laughs> well, I've always been a big fan of Dick Weber. Mika Koivuniemi of Finland said he loves it over here in the States, has adjusted to the food. He says, but people talk too much over here. <laughs> I'll agree with that. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> but what he wants to do right here is strike to maintain 11 pin lead. Yes. Hello. Another mixer, folks. You know, when he did go flush, he left a ring in 10. Maybe he should stay on the lighter side. You know what I mean? Well, it, it has worked. This is a man that won $100,000 for a 300 game in Singapore. A bad little afternoon there, huh? Nothing like going to Singapore and pulling down 100 Gs. Well, he said he pulled a 299 right before that, and he says, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so that one pin was worth 100000 Doesn't sound fair. Strike here. Take a commanding 21 pin lead. All right. Shatters the pins. Up by 21. This is what we call high flush, folks. Watch this ball just squeeze the one three. And like a vortex, the pins just get sucked right off the deck. And he man, is, he likes it. Sorry. Oh, that's great. Paul Fleming has it. Missed the pocket on this right lane. And it stays perfect. How about that? A little Wally, perhaps. And he needed that. This is what we call a Wally or a mixer. Yeah, the, the ball comes in light. The pins do a little dance. Let it go. They all go down. Let it go. Telling himself to let it go. And he is focused, talking to himself, putting nothing but good thoughts in his head, good mental thoughts. He's only down by 11. What a great shot by Paul Fleming. He knows he needs to keep the heat on or put some heat on, and that ball's just dead flush. And how about this reaction, folks? Oh, yeah. Mika Koibunyemi in the eighth, leading by 11. The scoreboard. Both players like to talk to themselves a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something that I found always worked for me. for us and it works. What the heck did he say? I think that was I got a three bagger coming my way in finish. Well hopefully it was better than what Tiger Woods said today at the US Open, which yeah. I think it probably was. Yeah. <laughs> well we won't go there. But anyway, um, uh, yeah we feel sorry for those guys. Anyway, uh, look folks here's the story. Mika's working on a three bagger, 21 pin lead, ninth frame, the foundation frame. Four bagger here will take will give him a 31 pin lead going into the 10th frame. Very impressed with these guys. First time on TV coming out, shooting these kind of scores. Biggest shot of the week. Oh, 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 just stepping up and just throwing it, just stuffing a couple 10 pins right down your throat. Here comes one high flush, folks. The high hard one coming your way. And he likes it. Just, just staring it down, going, come on. Well, I'm, I mean, I, I'm guessing that's what he's saying in finish. Come on. I, I hope so. I think that's, <laughs> we'll say that's what he's saying. Five match play appearances for Koibu Niemi, five caches and eight tournaments. And Paul Fleming down by 31 pins. 236 is his max. <sighs> Still alive. All right, folks, here's the situation. Fleming needs to throw three in the tenth to force Mika to get the first strike. Nothing but concentration going on in that chair. Some of the best bowling I've seen in a long time, folks. These guys getting up there. They're focused. They're talking to themselves. 
And Mika had the the choice of finishing last, and he decided to finish last. Now it's almost putting a little more pressure on himself. Well, you got to assume that he picked his best lane to finish on. Must strike. Horse! Horse! Yes! How about that? Now, folks, when Paul Fleming lets go of the ball and he's yelling push, that means that the ball is a little bit left of target. He's asking the ball to push down the lane so it doesn't go high. Rewrite. Now, that's balance right there. Look at how low he gets. Now he's yelling push. The ball's a little left of target. He's yelling for the oil to push the ball down the lane, make it break later. And he loves it. But will Paul look back to frame number three when he left the seven pin and open frame? Man, tell you what, it could cost him. 11 pins, that one frame. If he strikes, it's uh, he's at a 250 clip. Two more strikes in the 10th would have shut out his opponent. But you know what? We can't go back. we got to look forward. He needs a strike right here. Come on! Get it! Get it! Ah! Got it! Well, I don't think of Koi Bunyemi. It's up to him. You know, Phil Jackson might be the Zen master of basketball, but <laughs> you're looking at the new Zen master of bowling. This guy is solid as a rock, and he knows it. How about that reaction? Fantastic. He knows what he needs to do. You know what? He's telling himself, I'm going to do it. Not, oh, I hope I do that. He says, you know what? There's no doubt I'm going to get up there and make a great shot. He needs another one right here. This to put, this to put all the heat on, me, on Mika. Looking nasty. Come on! Come on, Philly, baby! No! That's what it's all about on TV, folks. This is what we bowl for, being that pumped up and making the shot when you have to. You told me he had quiet intensity. Nothing quiet about that, and Mika needs the strike. He's running on four in a row. Needs at least nine. Nine spare strike would be a tie. Anything less, Mika finishes third. That's pretty impressive. Going for his first title, a major. Gets up there and just, just a little sawed five. Watch this shot, folks. Watch the head pin go to the sidewall. And Paul, obviously dejected. Mm. Great week for him. He bowled his, well, about as well as he could bowl. Fantastic showing. Now Mika wants to get it dialed in for the next match. Possible 257. He'll be taking on the top seed, Pete Weber. And it is over.